The client has no interest in blogging at this point, um, but we're using a blogging platform to host this because it provides a very lightweight CMS content management system. Instead, we're using pages rather than blog posts. Uh, pages were originally developed just to add some static content to a blog. In fact, the about page was something very common. And you'll see that we've made you can have different levels and have parents for the pages. So, for example, we have an about page and then children pages, which are who are who we are and who we serve, and that gets echoed forward in the primary navigation, which is great. However, when we apply when we uh, appear at the at the site itself, we get presented with the most recent blog posts, which is not what we want at all. So, the first thing we need to do is fix that, and we can do that under settings. So if we go under settings and reading, you can see that um, the front page displays not your latest post, but rather a static page. And we've developed a page for that called Home. And if we save that and take a look over here and refresh, you'll see that now when we come to the main page, we don't get a blog post at all. We just get this first page of page content. Um, so that's great. Um, I'm a fan, actually, of... I'm not, I don't really like to have the home on the menu itself. We want to make this as clean as possible um, and crisp. And so um, one of the ways we're going to do that is to get rid of the home um, thing. We could do that in CSS, but I'm going to use a plugin instead. Um, it's a plugin that I have on, on many sites like this called Exclude Pages. In fact, it's right there as a choice. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and download Exclude Pages and install it. And um, once it's installed, if we and activated, if we go to Pages and go to the home page and edit it, you'll see that we have a new box over here which says Exclude Pages. And we have a checkbox where we can include this page in List of Pages, which also includes the, the primary navigation for the site. So if I uncheck that and then I go over here and refresh, we've gotten rid of the Home button. We still have About Programs and Support. So um, what do we do from here? Well, um, one of the problems with that is I also have this expectation that the logo should link. And the image replacement we've done for the logo doesn't allow it to link. So let's go ahead and fix that. And we'll go to the CSS. Um, remember, we did this image replacement where we basically addressed the span and disappeared it completely. That the span was holding the text. And then we put this in the div that was surrounding it. We can put that background image not in the div, but directly into the um, A tag, the, the, uh, the link tag for the whole thing. And then we still have that text in there. So to hide the text, we can hide it in a different way, which is by doing text indent, negative 9, actually it's an outdent because it's going to move it way off to the left by 999 where nobody can see it because nobody really has a, a, uh, a browser that big. Um, this is a little tricky, but it's, it gets us. It allows us to keep the text in there so that uh, screen readers presumably can see it, um, but and allows us to keep the link because we're doing this all in the link, but also lets us drop that image uh, where it's actually visible. So let's update that. And now, if we refresh this, you'll see that we've done some weird things there. But the um, but the the uh, we're gonna have to do some work on that because. Uh, it's running over to the, it's kind of overlapping it, so we're not able to click on it. We can do a couple of things. We could probably move it forward using a Z index, but um, or we could move this over to the right, which is what we will probably do because of that line anyway. But you get the basic idea, which is we can click on this now, and it takes us to the home page, which is great.